Mama B from K-Pop Mamas, and we're talking about Strong Women Do Bong Soon. <sighs> okay, so episodes 9 through 14. I already did my review of 1 through 8, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out here, and I'll put a link down below. Yeah. I'm just... I just finished watching it. 13 and 14 in OMG. So I just had to talk about it before the end. So I'll do another one next week and just recap all of it. But I just want to talk about everything that's happened in the last. So if you have not watched episodes 9 through 14, I'm, I, they're spoilers. So just don't because I don't know how to separate what I've watched so far. So yeah. Episode 8 ended and I was kind of wondering if they're really going to end up like taking the serial killer thing all the way to the end and what was going to happen with her and which guy she was going to choose, where this was going. So we will just get into what has happened since then. Episode 9. He finally finds out that she is the girl with the pink hood that saved him all those years ago that like he thought his mom sent an angel and it was her. But she already kind of knew this because, I mean, she's figured it out. And, like, Guktu um, finally figures out, like, 100% what he's been suspecting. That, like, she is the person doing all these things. And finally puts together, like, basically 20 years worth of clues. Come on, Guktu. Like, you've really, like, been this clues for this long. And then Minho gets stabbed. And... And then the first thing he says after he gets stabbed and she like is cradling him and of course they're having their little moment and he's like, King Chana, like, are you okay? <sighs> also, basically I watched, <laughs> I decided to watch this episode um, at the Korean restaurant that I go to. So I went by myself because my kids were out of town and I went and I watched this episode and I literally just sat there trying not to fangirl like the entire time. I ended up having to like stop watching because I just, I'm sure that those people were staring at me like I was a crazy person. They remembered me next time I went in. They were like, are you by yourself today? I was like, no, I'm meeting people here at this time. <laughs> so many cute things happened. It was so sweet. Episode 10, Soul Lame. Really minus 20 points because Minhyuk really doesn't give her a real job. After all that, she found out, they found out who was after him. She gets it taken care of, the gang, she's beat them up, everything's all good. He gets up her hopes, and then he really gives her a fake job at that stupid desk in his office. <sighs> I didn't like that at all. Minus 20 points, Minhyuk. Minus 20 points. Episode 11 comes around. That poop... I can't even really think about it, y'all. That poop wine business is just like... <laughs> And then, like, about a quarter of the way through episode uh, 11, he finally starts treating her like a real human being again with a brain, so that was super exciting, and I was back to liking him, because it took a solid episode and a half for me to get over episode 10 into episode 11 and how he was treating her. And then, of course, the moment comes where you're like, oh, God, she's going to pick the wrong guy, and we're going to have, like, five more episodes of shenanigans while they try and figure out this love triangle, right? Wrong. Guk episode 13, 11, totally loses his chance. Like, he had his moment, he was gonna get the girl, she was there for the taking, and what does he do? He runs off to go save the ex-girlfriend. Which, while understandable, because he's a police officer, I mean, like, he lost out. There's no way he can come back from that. I mean, she waited for him. And, OMG, public love confessions are my favorite thing ever! CEO comes down and saves her not say i mean not really saves her but whatever she's having this moment he comes down and he's the right guy for her and he doesn't care who's watching and he grabs her hand and he's like can you not just like me like oh, oh my gosh y'all and then the friend at the <laughs> like towards the end of episode 11 there's this aura that people in love have they're very weird to be around like so true. Y'all don't even know, I have two friends who started dating and they totally have that. Like, it's just like weird and it's different and you can tell, but they're trying not to be obvious, but it's totally obvious. And I love that part. I died laughing. Like, for about two seconds, I felt really, really, really bad for Guktu. Like, for a second, I had second lead syndrome. For maybe like a minute and a half. 
And he's just standing there, he's so awkward, he has a little box behind his back, and I had it. I had those feelings for like half a second, and then I was like, no, back to my number one man been here. Episode 12 was possibly one of my favorite episodes so far. I would say it's besides, well, uh, uh, 14 was really good too. I don't know. Episode 12 was one of the best episodes in the entire series. The entire first two minutes, I laughed so hard I literally cried. Like, the whole thing with him trying to act coy and she's like, I've talked to your dad, I already know what's happening, and he... Oh, hi. 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 Wanna say hi? I'm talking about TV shows, you wanna say hi? I'll get you some snacks. Hi. 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 There you go. What's some snacks? Yeah, so, okay, the entire first two minutes, I Mama. laughed so hard, I Mama. cried. What? 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 <laughs> okay, so episode 12, the entire first two minutes, I laughed so hard, I cried. Seriously, that entire thing, he's trying to act coy, and she's like, I already talked to your dad, so nice try, though. And then he blames it on all the American girls and why he couldn't stay there because all the girls were after him, which was probably true, admittedly. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Uh, first two minutes, laughing really hard, American girls, ah, yes. And then it, like, switches on a dime, and I spent episodes... Um, like the next 20 minutes just hoping someone would finally kill that stupid man that actor is so good by the way but like dear lord I've never wanted someone to die such a horrible death oh my gosh also in episode 12 an actual version of what I look like when I'm watching a drama <laughs> I'm really embarrassed to admit this y'all but this is 100% what I look like when I'm watching a drama. Just like, mm, just this whole part. And then finally, like, oh, they're finally getting their like loving moments and like he pushes her up against the wall and you think he's gonna give her a kiss, which is like one of my favorite moments in any K drama ever because it happens in everyone and it's my favorite. And then he kisses her forehead <gasps> and she thinks she's gonna get a kiss and she doesn't. Oh my gosh, that scene is so adorable. The, all of the suspense was there and like the serious parts and it was funny and it had just like a little bit of everything in it and yeah. And then they even have their loving moment at the end. He draws the heart. He's like, will you come towards me? And then she does. And so now he took a step towards her. She took a step towards him. And now they're all in love. So cute. Not to mention, they finally had their kiss scene. So every time I have a fangirl moment from here on out, this is what you're going to see. I can't be the only one that watched dramas like that. So I'm going to need y'all to support me on that one if you watch dramas the same way. Okay. And then y'all, I have some rules of K-drama. If you haven't seen that video, it's right here. Um, I'll put a link in the description too. But one of my rules of K-drama is that everything goes to hell in episode 13. So episode 13 rolls around and really everything holds true to that. Like just from the very beginning, everything about episode 13 fit into the everything goes to hell category. Serious Min Hyuk is my jam like I like the parts where he's super cutesy but then when he gets all serious and is like not playing around with her safety and her life like that is like so cool to see that switch and as a character it makes me like him a lot and it makes the show more believable so it's a little less like cutesy 100% of the time like there are moments where you're like oh yeah he is a CEO and like he is an adult and he does handle his business and I love it. And then of course he has a scene where like she's trying to do what's best for him and he's trying to tell her like I got this don't worry about it I'm just worried about you and he's trying to love her for who she is and accept her and even though he knows it's not right he wants to keep her safe and she proceeds to walk away from him, which left me yelling at a TV screen for four minutes, like, don't do it, go back, he knows you, don't make this mistake, he's just trying to love you. Also, I really liked, it was more serious side of the Wong Soon too, like, she is doing what she thinks is right, and she's making her choices, and 
obviously, like, she understands what's happening with her friend, and it's definitely a more serious episode throughout the entire thing, which I thought was really good. And they all, all of the actors and actresses, Do Hong Soon as a character, Min Hyuk as a character, they do the transition from, like, sweet and in love to serious, like, things happening and emotional and the more serious side of the show very well. And so while episode 12 to me was, for the most part, like, the cutesy, um, in love, fun new couple moments, like, episode 13 was a serious, like, but real things are happening in life still and in that transition was really good. I thought it was a good twist from the previous week. He goes to save her and serious Min Hyuk again is my jam. Like how many, I don't know how many more times I'm gonna have to say this. That's probably just gonna be like my tagline of these episodes, episodes nine through 14, serious Min Hyuk is my jam. Also, that was a solid lesson to me in waiting until both episodes are out. So I normally, I try really hard and watch it because I wait all week. So like Friday it comes out and I try and watch it, but I didn't have time. So I watched it on Saturday and thank God, because as soon as her hand fell, I was like, uh, no, what is happening? But I was able to roll right into episode 14. Thank God I waited. And then episode 14. I loved this week's episodes. I really was not that big on episode 9 and 10. Like, 9 was, nine was good, 10 was uh, meh. And 11 and 12, obviously I really loved episode 12, but like, this week's episodes 13 and 14 were like, the pivotal moments in the show. Like, everything was kind of leading up to this, like the... So then this sweet, really sweet heart to heart moment with like, the dad and the brother and they're sitting there and like, the men in her life just love her so much. And totally make up for the fact that her mom, like, just does not spend as much time on her as I think that feel like she should in my heart. And, like, her dad and her brother just love her so much. And then, you know, Min Hyo calls and he is telling her dad, like, don't worry, I got her. Like, everything's gonna be okay. And the dad trusts him. And that whole moment was just so cool to see all the people that really care about her in her life when she thinks that, like, she's there to protect everybody else. All these men in her life are there to protect her, which was just super sweet. And it wasn't like a really big part of the show, but I really loved it. And then you guys have a moment on the couch and he's like, please just love me. And she's like, I do. And he's like, I really don't think so. And she's like, no, really, I do. And he's like, I really love you. <gasps> and y'all, true life, this is what actual best friends look like. Like, hold it together in front of the guys, and then she sees her friend, and they break down together, and there's, like, barely coherent, and they're just crying, and, like, I bought you that dress that you liked, but you, you almost got killed, and let me feed you. Like, this is exactly what true best friends look like. I and then, okay, another inconsequential part to the entire show as a whole, but that whole scene with them on the roof and the whole she's talking to him informally because she finds out they're the same age and he's like i'm your opa and she's like mm, i don't think so and he's like uh no yeah i am <laughs> it's a holy hell the last 15 minutes of episode 14. <sighs> where do i start first of all let's start with the actor who plays the murderer i really need to figure out his name oh my god like this guy is so good I, I looked his name up and i forget what it is now but i really have not been able to find anything else that he's been in but he is so good so good and like that eye contact at the end like i don't know how it's possible to like look evil just through eye contact and just someone looking at your eyes but that is 100 percent what he accomplished and while i hate his character and loathe him entirely and hope he dies an awful death like, as an actor, that guy is on point. Since this is going to be my tagline of episodes 9 through 14, sweet to angry Min Hook. Like, when he logs that building down and he's like, hell no, I gotta go get my woman and kill this guy and end this forever, like, serious Min Hook is my dude. It doesn't matter. If there's a countdown and the story is not following the timeline of the countdown, it drives me insane. And the first thing I did when they had the 15 minute countdown is I looked how much time was on the show. I literally paused it to see how much time was left. And the fact that there was 15 minutes left in the show, like, 
I don't even think y'all can understand like what that did for me. Like I was like, oh, I can actually just enjoy the last 15 minutes and not constantly think about how unrealistic the timelines are in shows. And I know that's ridiculous, but the fact that the 15 minute countdown actually was 15 minutes of what the TV show was, like I liked that. And they producing the producers of that show get plus 100 points, A plus plus for that. And then that whole moment where like he's trying to get to her and he can't get to her and he's like bloody and he just accepts that they're gonna die and she's not accepting that and just wants him to leave her and he refuses. You guys, I just cannot even with how much I loved all of that. Like, I mean like you know they're gonna be together for the rest of it forever in love happy ever after because when you almost die for somebody obviously that's it that's a real deal and it was like so nerve-wracking and serious and sweet and just like what true love should look like and I loved it so that was an awesome way to end the show and or end that episode in this week. So I'm really excited to see what happens next week. I'm hoping that they just catch the guy in 15 and then we can just have like a whole episode of everything wrapping itself up in 16. I doubt that's going to happen, but that would be my like dream wish. So we get a whole episode of just love and fluff after an episode of seriousness. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys thought of episodes 9 through 14. And remember, if you haven't watched my review of episodes 1 through 8, go check that out. And let me know what you guys think so far of Strong Woman Do Bong Soon and what you think is going to happen in the finale next week. And yeah, so remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more drama reviews from K-Pop Mamas. And I'll see you guys next week when the finale comes. Bye!